everybody, this is Brett Schulman. Right now we're at the Superboat International Offshore Races 2015 right here in Key West with the world famous world champion, Mr. Peter Meyer with the Hooters Instigator Offshore Racing Team. You've had a phenomenal year this year. What kind of conditions are out there in the water right now? Well, the conditions right now are very calm, but tomorrow it's supposed to be kicking up a little bit and uh, we don't really know what's gonna, if I could predict the future, I wish I could. But uh, I do know we have tough competition tomorrow. We have the Outer Limits boat, we have the Twisted Model uh, Cooper Standard boat, uh, we have um, uh, Jackie and Joe in their other fountain. They're, um, uh, they're tough competitors too. Um, everybody is keeping quiet. Their lips are sealed. Nobody's saying who's fast and who's, but in our class, everybody is within a couple of seconds of one, and not miles per hour, a couple of seconds. And, uh, you know, I know the Outer Limits boat, they've been throwing money at that boat to, you know, kick the fountain's butt, you know, a little bit. But uh, it's, um, I think it's going to be a good run tomorrow. That's fantastic. Now, for some of those folks out there in our racing industry, they, they really don't know a lot about about your boat. Could you tell us just a couple of specifications about the length and the type of motors that you have inside? Well, well it's a 40-foot fountain. It's 572 cubic inch uh, motor. Uh, they're Frank McComas engines out of uh, Michigan. Um, everybody, it's a spec motor. Uh, they have nine and a half compression. They all make about 800 to 25 to 850 horsepower. Um, we have a 5.7 gear ratio. They have a certain carburetor, a certain set of heads. Um, it's very, it's a very competitive class, just like the Supercats, Fred, as you would know. Um, in, in this situation, we are, we have a real great race tomorrow. There's no doubt. About it. Uh, and, and along with Friday and Sunday, I wouldn't, I couldn't guess it right now. Yeah. Now last year was absolutely spectacular. The crowd was going crazy, and one of the the biggest things at the very end was you won by how much? 0.043 seconds over three days. That's mile per hour over three days. It was a matter. Of, you can't even figure that out miles per hour wise, but they uh, they figured it out on a computer and we uh, just beat them. That's right, and that's to win the world championship, and that's what we're looking for this entire week, running and gunning, doing exactly what we gotta do, keep that together, and take that checkered flag. Well, with your energy, Brett, could I put you in the back of the boat, maybe a couple <laughs> like a squirrel, a little bit more as powers? That's it. Thank you, Peter Meyer. We love you guys. We love Julie, we love Johnny, we love the whole group. You guys are absolutely fantastic and you're a great part of the SBI Fantastic Family. Thank you very much for the compliment. Oh, I've been racing for 30, 33 years now. I uh, started way back when in 1982. It's been uh, a long road. It's a great experience. Um, I've met some great people. Uh, it's been phenomenal. It's one of the few things that some people just out of nowhere can get involved in and they can go race and have a good time. Like there's only so many people that can be in a NASCAR race. But here, if you've got money and time, you can go boat racing. And um, what are the stakes in this race for you? Like, what's going on with it? The stakes, I have some great friends that I race against. It's all about bragging rights. It's, there's no money. There is, there's, there is prize money, but it's not about money. It's about the ego. It's everybody's ego, what, what they want to do and where they want to be in this world. And they can say that I won a world championship doing something. <clears throat> and this is, this is a, a true sportsman's type of race you have to be in shape you have to be ready to go at all times i mean it's very endurance you're sitting in the boat here right now it's hot it gets hotter during the day when it's 100 degrees out it's 140 in here just like a nascar car so it is a lot of work here it's it's not like everybody thinks you're in a power boat running across the bay and having a great old time it's not it's very intense what is something about racing that nobody knows about That's a tough question. 
but I'm telling you, been in a boat, in a race boat, I mean, it's an adrenaline, it's like an adrenaline junkie. If you're a, you know, if somebody was doing drugs or something like that, or whatever their high is, when you're in a boat, when you're going 120 miles an hour and you're going off the waves and you're, you're dodging bullets and your head's back and forth with your helmets, it's, uh, it's an experience that you will never forget. Nice. And, and how are you and your team feeling right now with the day? Tomorrow's a big day. First race. Tomorrow being the first race, we're nervous. I got. I will tell you outright, the competition that I have, we're all within split seconds of one another. It's not like somebody's going to walk away, it's going to be a walk in the park. We have competition like with you. It may not be a lot of our boats, but I, the boats we have are great quality. Nice. And what is the most important thing to you about winning the championship? It's just another world championship to me, but <laughs> um, it's bragging rights. It's, a, it's, it's all about my team. My team, I have a great team, and they would, that they, they're what make us good. I mean, Kenny Adams is my crew chief. He's on this all the time, and he used to race cars. When everybody, when everybody's putting their heart into it, and you win for them, it's not just winning for yourself; it's winning for the team. And some people say, "Oh, you know, you're the, you know, you're the driver, you're the throttleman." No, but it's the team. That's what's important to our whole organization here, the Hooters and Hooters Instigator, whatever, whatever you want to call us. But I love it. Well, wonderful. Well, we thank you for your time, and uh, good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much.